Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this session, we will discuss second example of response specification. So last session we have discussed why we use the response specification. And just I have given one simple code. Now we can just <clears throat> validate some response body using the response specification code. So let me create one test cases. <clears throat> okay. So test public void response validate response <clears throat> body okay and now the same code i will just from i'll copy from here i'll paste it here here i will use response okay so i'm trying to validate <clears throat> you know body of response okay so we can do some you know name workspace name validation here so in the last video we are doing the same thing but here we can extract as well okay so now response response okay we have a store here and now i will use here dot extract method okay inside this extract after extracting this then we will use dot response method okay now <clears throat> this all this you know uh, we have extracted all the data and we have a store inside this response <clears throat> variable now we have a assertion called assert <clears throat> assert that okay so assert assert that that okay. <clears throat> okay so here we'll try to validate this so we have a assert that right so now i will write assert we have a method called assert that okay so you guys you can see uh when i'm trying to write this assert that I was facing some issue because you know you have to import this package okay so i'll say this code guys so you know sometime even i was also facing the same issue if you will not use the proper uh you know packages if you will not import and if you have a static package then you have to import manually okay a static package you can't import auto here you have to uh, import manually and i was missing this hamcrest uh, matchers assert okay so that's why i was facing the issue so you <clears throat> now i have added this package if you will face any issue you have to do the same thing okay so now we have a assert you can see this now it is coming but before it was not coming this assert that now we will try to validate our you know so in inside this assert that we have a response respond dot path okay so we have a one path method here you have to pass uh, you know index of name okay so <clears throat> zero index you know whatever the worker space which is available on the zero index we are trying to validate that one okay so we can write here worker space let me copy from here let me check this is the work spaces yeah work spaces of zero so it will come on the zero index dot name okay now after that we can use here dot and uh, actually here we are trying to call to a string so here we will get all the you know why we use the two a string so if you will use the two a string it will represent the complete a string representation okay so if you are you can just visit my uh, java session so we have explored very well why we use the two a string but here just you can understand why using the two a string just we are you know getting the all the data in the string format okay now we have a equals right so equal to 
so equal to so what the value is coming for zero index so let me copy this value which is coming on the zero index so this is coming in the zero index okay so let me try to pass this that's all okay so in this session we are trying to use response specification and extracting and we are trying to validate <coughs> response body so let me try to execute this okay you, you can see here <coughs> we are getting uh, all this response and a status code is 200 I'm not sure why okay i think yeah, here we are getting 200 okay right so this is how we can use and we can impl implement response specification in the interview they will also ask you what is the response specification how to implement where we can use in your project and all so please uh, do practice well and definitely this will be a very helpful for you guys so that's all in this session guys see you in the next session if you are new in the channel please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification and share with your friend as well and if you have any doubt please comment reach out to me definitely i will reply back to you any feedback this will also helpful for me you know i'm trying to hard to provide the best content and easy to learn you guys okay thank you so much see you in the next video bye bye